Hey, Cable Hawks, today we'll install our Rock Tamber light bar. Stay tuned. I'm Missy. I'm Mike. And we're, we're the, the Camp Camp of Hawks. Hawks. All right, folks, our friends at Rock Tamers uh, sent us this light bar kit. It acts as a third brake light and or uh, turn signals. So we're going to show you how to install these on our Rock Tamers. Uh, I love our Rock Tamers. We've had these on for a good uh, four, no, actually five months now. Hasn't let me down, has protected their fifth wheel like a champ and or you can put the, use this on your travel trailer also. So it's a definite great investment to protect your RV or your travel trailer. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up, install this on our Rock Tamers, show you how easy it is, and we'll go ahead and light it up and see how it goes. Here we go. All right, this is the Rock Tamers tail light bar, easy to install uh, lighting system for your Rock Tamers. Looks pretty cool. Our first step is to go ahead and take off all these protective caps, and then we're going to um, loosen the uh, nuts behind the protective caps to get to, to produce some distance in between or a gap so we can slide that light bar on. So let's go ahead and get this done. All right, to speed up the process for filming, what I've done is I've take, already loosened this, but I've taken the uh, flathead micro screwdriver, popped these protective caps off, just like that. Taking my half inch socket, loosen, loosen these up to allow the light bar to slide onto the rock camera. All right, I wanted to point this out to you. Again, I've, had the, I've installed these in December and it is now May 7th. As you can see, there's no significant wear and tear on this. They all look great. The ribs looks good. There's no drag marks. Again, I, if you saw my first video on this, on the installation, I cut three inches off of the, off the tamer itself, off the flap, to shorten it three inches um, because of the weight of my fifth wheel in the back of the F450. So it, I took off three inches, so that worked out great. There's no drag marks, everything looks good. As far as six months of use, So I'm very pleased with the Rock Tamer product. All right, let's get on with the light bar install. All right, once you get these bolts loose enough, create some distance between the bolt and the metal flange here, you're gonna slide the light bar on. Just like that. The power, the power end of the light goes towards the hitch. Just simply slide the light bar on. Once we get the light bar slid on, then we're going to tighten down the nuts on the back side that we loosened up for the application. Careful not to tighten too much because you do not want to break plastic light bar flange. I'm going to reapply my protective covers. And that light bar is installed. All right, this is your uh, wire connection. It goes to your four pin connector on your truck to activate the uh, light bar. So we're going to go ahead and screw this on. There's pin connector right there. So you got to line this up. Just like that. Got your connection, secure the connection with the threaded nut slides right in there secure that 
nice and tight. All right, let's put this baby on and try her out. All right, just plug and play as far as your four pin connector. Plug that in, we'll fire up the truck and see if our lights work. All right, look at that, isn't that cool? Activate the turn signals. All right, so right now we're in rut. Ah, uh, nope. Dude, turn the other one on. Yep. All right, we're having technical difficulty. You see the uh, the turn signal is on the opposite sides of each other, so that means we got to take those two wires and flip them. So I had it wrong when I hooked it up. So that turn signal was going off and this one was going off. So we got to flip these two wires. Hopefully that solves the problem. All right, through the order TV magic, we reversed the wires. Uh, real simple. Ours is marked right signal, left signal. So we'll see if this works. And we are synced. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. There's Echo. All right, hit the brake lights. Brake lights work. Brake light and turn signal. Four ways work. Yep, there we go. So our rock tamers are fully functional. Rock tamer lights are fully functional. It's pretty cool. Another cool feature of the rock tamers. All right, folks. Hope you enjoy this video about the uh, rock tamer of running lights. You can mount on your rock cameras, they're pretty darn cool. They mount right into the uh, seven pin connector of your truck. So, and it does operate nicely. Turn signals work great, everything works great. It, it also, we just found out we hooked up our fifth wheel hitch. It does not override the fifth wheel connection, so that's good. So everything works out great. You can go to, uh, let me see, cruiserframes.com or click on the link below, enter Campaholic for 25% off any rock tamer product. 25% off if you enter coupon code CAMPAHOLIC. So I'd like to thank Rock Tamers for sending that to me. It's pretty cool to get gadget. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe below. Ring that red, or hit that red button. Ring the bell for notifications on future videos. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for being a Campaholic. Bye-bye.